What's up you guys, Justin Rivas here. Today we are talking about ISO and exposure in a part of a series where we're trying to make the technical things not so complicated and easy to understand. So you know the terminology and maybe some of the extra buttons on your camera with the goal at the end that hopefully you're making better video. So we're talking about exposure and ISO. Now exposure is simply whether how bright or dark our image is. And you can have an overexposed image like this where it's way too bright, or we can have an underexposed image like this where it's way too dark, or hopefully we put it back to about normal, somewhere around there. And that's the goal, right? We wanna create movies or take photos or whatever. We want it to be the right level of brightness. And so that is exposure is basically another term for simply a properly exposed image is the correct level of brightness. An underexposed image is too dark, an overexposed image is too bright. So. That's the goal at the end of the day. And there's, you know, a couple of ways. We've done other videos where we talked about aperture and that's one way how we can control the amount of light, you know, wide open aperture, lots of light, crank it down, small aperture, not so much light. Or we can talk about shutter speed, which we talked about in another video. Those are ways that we control the amount of light. But there's a third one, which is our ISO. Now ISO stands for something that I can't remember. I've looked it up and it always escapes me because it really doesn't matter. But ISO is basically your camera's ability to turn up or down the brightness. And basically what it does is it takes a sensor that's in your camera and it kind of like boosts the power to make your image brighter or turns down the power to be able to make it darker. And that's the simplest way to understand ISO. It's basically your brightness dial and you can turn up your ISO to a larger number and that's going to make it brighter or you can turn it down and that's going to make it darker. The only thing to know, because you're like, perfect, I'll just crank up the brightness, because most of the times you'll need more brightness, is the more you crank up that dial and the camera has to work hard to make it brighter, the more grain and kind of noise that you're going to see in the image. So maybe that's technical, but I'll show you a practical example here. So we've got a speaker here, we've got a camera here, we're going to hit record. And what we have here is my camera's basically telling me I've got a properly exposed image, meaning that the brightness on this is pretty good. Now it's reading off the white speaker, so you know maybe we can make it a little brighter. Okay, so we've got a pretty well exposed image. Now let's say right now we've got in the background, it's kind of blurry, and maybe we wanted to show that background. So if we went back to our aperture video, we'd be able to turn up the aperture to put more stuff in focus. But the problem here is what do you know, our image suddenly got real dark. But we could adjust the shutter speed, which is something we've talked about, but then the problem there is our image would actually get really blurry and start to look funny, so we don't want to touch that, so we can go to the ISO. We can hit the ISO button, and we're just going to turn it up. And we're going to get back to, what do you know, a nice, bright, kind of properly exposed image. Now, the only thing here is it's great because we're telling the story, and now you can see the speaker. So at the end of the day, we don't have to be afraid that we turned up the ISO there. But you will be able to see a little bit, depending on if you're just watching your phone, maybe you can't see this, but that there's a little bit more noise and kind of graininess around here, as opposed to, we're going to put it back here to uh, 3, 5, and that was down to right around here, to where now that whole area is going to be cleaner because the camera is not working as hard. Now again, that's a very subtle thing. At the end of the day, you just want to be able to tell the story. And people are always asking about, oh, how good is a camera at low light? Well, it kind of matters and it kind of doesn't matter. But modern cameras, typically any like proper mirrorless, you know, whether it's a Panasonic or a Sony or an Olympus or, you know, the newer DSLRs that are, you know, Nikon and Canons, they, they all do fine in low light where they're not being able to take away from the story. Now let's go back here. I'm going to turn this up to the absolute maximum and we're gonna get it dialed in to where properly exposed is saying right here. This is as high as the ISO can go and people talk about like, you know, cameras being really noisy or grainy at this. But honestly, like, it's still fine. We can still tell a story here and it's not gonna take away from it. Could it look better? Yeah, it could look a little bit better if we didn't do this to the camera. But at the end of the day, you just need to be able to turn that dial up to what you need and turn it down. Try and keep it as low as you can whenever you can but if you can't, don't worry about it. That's what the ISO is there for, is to bring up the brightness of the image. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense on what ISO is. It's your big dial, turning up the brightness, turning down the brightness. You can get in situations though where you can't actually turn down the brightness enough. It's super bright outside 
and you know the ISO only goes so low at some point on some mirrorless like this the Panasonic ISO 200 is the lowest number it can do whereas this Sony can do ISO 100 so it can go a little bit darker what you have to do there is you have some options you can change the shutter speed where you can make that quicker so it's not letting in as much light you could take the aperture and you could close this down you know so it isn't as bright or the other thing that you can get is you can get things called filters an ND a neutral density filter it's basically a thing that screws on the front here and makes it darker and some of them are fixed in where they make it a certain amount darkness and other ones they're called variable ND filters and as you turn them it makes them darker depending which way you're going and so you can dial it in that way so just another ability to turn up or down the brightness on the camera that's what ISO does make sense Drop a comment below if you have any questions at all. I'm always happy to answer it. I'm Justin Rivas. Thanks for watching.